Hey guys, welcome to sixth grade chapter seven, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, um, before we do, I want you guys to understand that when you are adding, okay, you cannot add a number and a number with a letter or a number with a letter with an X on it or a number with a letter with an exponent that's different, okay? You cannot add two exponents that are different, okay? When you are multiplying, you can multiply them. So 12 times A would wind up being 12A. 12 times 2C would wind up being 24C, okay? So when you're adding or subtracting, you cannot add them together if their variable is different. When you are multiplying, you can, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So five times seven H, five times seven is 35 and it takes on that H and 35 H, so we're good. Okay, all right. So you'll see I went through and I just highlighted all of my like terms, okay? So my 10 is alone, so that's gonna stay a 10. And eight minus three is five, and they have the same letter, so I can just do that. So is 10 plus five, five V the same thing as 18 plus minus three V? No, it's not. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna love this because nine W times zero is a zero. And 0 minus 12 is just negative 12. And then 9w minus 12. No, that's not equivalent. Okay? We're doing okay, guys, I promise. Almost done, okay? Just a second, the plate is not turned to the page again. Okay? All right. All right, so 11 onto p plus q, would that be the same as 11p plus 7 plus 4q? Well, that means 11p plus 7q plus 4q is 11q. That's the same thing as 11 times p and 11 times q and adding them together. So equivalent, okay? Now, this one, we would have to distribute the six onto the 4b and onto the 3d. So six times four is 24 and we keep the b. We keep the sign that's in the middle, and 6 times 3 is 18, and we keep the D. So 24B plus 3D, not equivalent, okay? Okay, you guys are going to do number 7. Number 8 I'm going to help you with only for just a second. Um, because y times 1 is the same thing as y plus 2, which is the same as y plus 2. So that one's going to be equivalent. Okay. So this one, okay, it's a tough one, but you guys can totally do it. So you're going to have 4. I'm going to go through. I'm going to do the multiplying, and then I'll highlight my like terms and combine. Okay. Plus 5 times 6 is 30, and I'm going to keep the p. Plus 5 times 1. Okay. So now like terms, four and five. Well, four and five are nine plus 30 P. So that's equivalent. Okay. All right. You guys are going to do the rest of these up to 12. Okay. So seven, 10, 11, 12. Okay. We're going to go down and do number 13 together. Rachel needs to write three book reports with B pages and three science reports with S pages during the school year. Write an algebraic expression for the total number of pages Rachel will need to write. So three book reports with however many pages and three science reports with however many science pages, okay? Well, that means that we can pull out that three and do three onto B, we keep that sign and S, okay? You can write it like this, there's nothing wrong with that. You wanna get fancy, show off a little bit, do that one, 
Okay. All right. Rachel Franiasi has to write three. Oh, look. B plus S pages use properties of operations to determine whether this expression is equivalent. Well, we already said it is equivalent. Yes, it is equivalent. Okay. All right, we're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, and we're going to do the very last power review of the chapter. Okay? It says, Keisha wants to read for 90 minutes. So far, she's read 30% of her goal. How much longer does she need to read to reach her goal? Well, so, let's see. We have 100%. We're going to take away that 30%. Okay? So, that's 70. Okay? This is how much she has left, 70%. She has left three, okay? So, 70% of 90 is, which means we're going to go 0 0.70 of means times 90, okay? Well, 7 times 9 is 63, and then we have the two zeros on the end. And then we have to go in one, two places, one, two places, 63. So 63 teaches, or 63 minutes, or sorry, yeah, 63 minutes. There we go, okay? Make sure that you write down your work, okay? All right, Marvin travels 105 miles on his scooter. He travels for three hours. What is his average speed? All right, well, 105 divided by three, okay? Three is not gonna go into one, but it'll go into 10 three times, which is nine. Subtract and get one. One is smaller than three, so I can bring down my five, and then three goes into 15. Five times for 15. Subtract at zero, so 35 miles per hour. Okay? Mile hour. Okay? All right. The expression 5 onto F minus 32 divided by 9 gives the Celsius temperature for a Fahrenheit temperature of F degrees. The noon Fahrenheit temperature in Centerville was 86 degrees. What was the temperature in Celsius? So, all right, so let's go use our scrap paper, okay, and I'm going to write down the formula first. Okay, so now I know that F is equal to 86. So wherever F is, I need to fill in 86, okay? So 5 onto 86 minus 32 divided by 9, okay? Well, 5 times 86 minus 32, okay? So I'm going to take care of the parentheses, which means I can just put a multipl uh, multiplication sign, okay? So 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 and 8 minus 3 is 5, divided by 9, okay? Now, because you're multiplying and dividing, I'm going to make this easy, okay? Typically, it's whatever one comes first, but I happen to know that 9 goes into 54 very nicely six times. Okay? So instead of multiplying 54 by 5 and then dividing all of that by 9, when it's multiplying and dividing, it doesn't really matter which one comes first as long as you do all of them, okay? So we kept our 5. 54 divided by 9 is 6. 5 times 6 is 30, 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. That C is the Celsius, guys, in that little circle up there. That's just degrees, okay? All right. At the library book sale, hardcover books sell for $4, and paperback sell for $2. The expression 4B and 2B represents the total cost for B hardcover books and B paperbacks. 
write a simpler expression that is equivalent to 4b plus 2b. So we could, because they're both b's, we can just combine them. 2 plus 4 is 6. Keep the b. Again, if you want to get fancy, take out 2, make it onto 2b plus b. Because 2 times 2 is 4, keep the b. 2 times b is 2b. Okay? So this is perfectly acceptable, though, 6b. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for Chapter 7. Come on back for Chapter 8. See you soon.